I'm Justin Mott and welcome to my home in Hanoi, Vietnam. Today I'm going to talk about the Leica M11. Well, I'm not really going to talk about the M11. I'm just going to show you pictures from the M11. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've already done an initial impressions video where I talk about the features that were really interesting to me. I already did that video. I'll put a link here. So yeah, today I'm just going to show you some pictures that I took with the Leica M11. Took it out for a couple hours. Went to a small bamboo village here about an hour outside of Hanoi and took some pictures and that's it. I'm going to show you the pictures. No side-by-side -side comparisons. I am not a techie person. I'm not going to show you like here's the noise level at 40,000 here's the noise level of the m10r here's the noise level of the q here's a boom 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 i don't i don't do that not good at that don't do it other people do it if you're interested in that sorry that you ended up seeing my face talking to you my apologies i'm just going to show you some pictures that i took with the camera because some people like that some people just like to look at pictures and hopefully that's you and if it is you stay tuned <laughs> As always, guys, don't forget to check out my online store at justinmott.com where I've got presets that will not make you a better photographer, but they will add some pop to your images. You can see some samples here. I've also got my one-on-one -on -one session starting as low as $99 for all of you out there interested in improving your photography. One-on-one -on -one sessions for $99 for one hour with you and me. We can talk about your portfolio. We can talk about your business. We can just talk about photography in general whatever you want. And I've also got print starting as low as $99 with free shipping worldwide. You can check all that out at justinmott.com. So here we go. Again, this is not a in-depth review of the camera. I have already talked about this camera. I've already done my initial impressions. This is not a tech review of the camera, side-by-side -side comparison, noise, different lenses, different things like that. Not my thing at all. This is just me showing you some pictures that I took with this camera. Just a little background and full transparency about how I was able to use this camera before it was released. I have an existing relationship relationship with Leica, especially with Leica Vietnam and Leica Singapore. I am not a Leica ambassador. One of my images has been used in a global ad campaign for Leica, but again, no money is exchanged, no stipulations about my reviews. They didn't even ask me to do a review. The way it's been working with me is I just asked the friendly people over at Leica Vietnam if I can borrow equipment that I'm interested in that I could see myself using for either my personal projects or my editorial work or even my commercial work. They don't ask me to review it. They don't ask me to say this, this, and this, and there's no stipulations like, yeah, of course you're gonna say, well, you're not gonna trash the camera. No, probably not. I probably won't trash the camera. Like physically, no. Verbally, I probably won't trash the camera either, but if there's something I don't like about it, I'll say it. And I'll tell you whether I would buy a camera or not. I'm just honest about that kind of stuff. That's who I am, that's what we're gonna get on my channel. So they loaned me the camera a couple weeks before it came out. I went to a small bamboo village about an hour outside of Hanoi. The weather was absolutely horrible, but that's what you get this time of year in Northern Vietnam. Uh, I treated it sort of like a mini assignment, like an editorial assignment for a magazine or newspaper. So I wanted to get a mix of some nice details of the bamboo, some nice like reportage style shots of just the bamboo village itself and people working with the bamboo and then some portraits of the people that work there as well and tell a little mini story. So before I show you some pictures, you probably wanna know like, would you buy it? Would you buy this camera? Like for me, pro probably not, probably not right now, but it's not, it's not because the camera's bad, it's not because of the price or anything like that. It's just because I don't need it. Right now I have a Leica M10D, that's my go-to camera. I'm in love with that camera. It's a whole different system. It doesn't compare me, it doesn't have a screen. So you're dealing with a different type of camera altogether. Uh, my backup camera is a Leica M10 and I probably, I'm thinking about swapping out my backup N10 and investing in the SL2 or the SL2S. Oh, it's complicated. I can't figure it out yet because I'm actually strongly considering switching over to Leica for all my commercial photography. So my lifestyle work, my hotel work, I'm, I'm really considering it. I don't know if I need, right now I'm using the Hasselblad X1D system and I love the files on that camera. The camera overall is very slow and I have my Leica M lenses. So I am considering going for an SL2, um, maybe. I'm, I'm gonna put some thought to that. I'm gonna test it out. I'm also considering the SL2S just because I'm shooting a lot more video and, and it'd be fun to shoot video with the M lenses. It'd be fun to, I hear really good things about the SL lenses even though they're quite big and it's not what I'm really into. I really like the M system. Uh, I could see myself sort of mixing and matching, and that's kind of the beauty of Leica, is like having different cameras to do for different things. So not getting away from my M10D, still using that for all my assignment work, still using it for my personal project work, but for my backup camera, I'm considering an SL2 or an SL2S. But this M11 is a very versatile camera. So if I was just starting off, had no Leica cameras already, and you know, being the kind of shooter that I am, shooting commercial work, shooting editorial work, shooting personal work, the, the Leica M11 might be a great system to start with, just because you could shoot commercial work with it, you have those files, you could blow those files up you could really print them really really huge in the details 
are great with that brand new sensor. If you don't need autofocus and things like that, that could be an option for all of you out there that shoot commercial work in an editorial style or just that shoot. Sometimes you shoot commercial work, sometimes you shoot personal work, sometimes you shoot assignment work. You've got that nice range there with that brand new sensor. So again, for me, probably not right now because my main camera is my M10D. I really love that camera and it doesn't really compare, so it's not really fair. And also, you shouldn't care if I should buy it or not either. We're gonna shoot different things, we're gonna shoot things in a different way, so we're not the same at all. But it's a great camera. Again, aesthetically feels exactly like the other M10s in your hand, except for the new battery system. So on the outside, the same. On the inside, it's a brand new, more powerful camera. Like I say, it's a performance camera, but that sensor is has a lot of performance. If you want like full-on performance, then you go into the SL system. And so it's got that M heritage, got that M look, that M body, and it, but it just has a more modern, really more powerful sensor on it. So if you think you're gonna print your images, awesome camera to go with you. are just starting off and you want a camera that can do everything and you like the M system, that's your feel, you don't need autofocus, this would be an awesome camera for you. So my experience with it, I really liked it. The files were awesome. I haven't got a chance to print them yet, but I enjoyed the experience. I had a great time out in the Bamboo Village. I met this fellow photographer, he was 90 plus years old. He rode bicycles, he wore weird hats. I mean, he's like my hero. He's like who I aspire to be. So took some shots of that guy. I'll put up the metadata for those of you interested in that kind of stuff, but just about everything was probably shot with my 35 millimeter and probably almost everything was probably shot at 1.4 because I just kind of like that look, especially on a cloudy day. I had a little bit of pop to my images. So I used my Leica 35 Summulus. I used the L Pro adapter you'll see for the really close up shots I took of that gentleman I mentioned. And I borrowed my friend's 50 millimeter for a few shots as well, but I'll put all that metadata up. Here's my little story from this little bamboo village. I enjoyed the experience. Thank you Leica Vietnam. Thank you you guys for watching. And I should also end to my friends out there who celebrate Chinese New Year. I live here in Vietnam. We're celebrating Tet right now. So for all of you Vietnamese people out there that are watching this show, Chuk Mung Nam Happy New Year to all of you out there. Here are the images from the Bamboo Village. Hope you enjoy them. Let me know if you have any questions about the camera in the comment section, guys. Take it easy, and again, Happy New Year.